The word says, uh, hallelujah, so we are to decree a thing, uh, hallelujah, and pay our vows. Uh, the word of God says, decree a thing, and it will be established for you. Hallelujah. So, you know, worship is an act of faith. Hallelujah. We decree our God reigns. We decree, hallelujah, that he's a fence around us this morning. We go hail Jesus. He's our king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're here to watch what we say and watch what we do. For he said, keep the watch over the doors of your lips. Hallelujah. So make sure you give God praise. Don't murmur no more as of today because he says, I will deliver you. Don't murmur no more. Say, God, take me through this. Give me your grace. So we are to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For he will deliver. Tell your neighbor. Daddy Jesus is here. Jesus and he will, here. he will deliver. Hallelujah. We give him worship. Thank you, Lord. We thank him for his protection this morning. But God revealed to me that every time you hear a word from him, whether in your devotion, whether through a song, when you hear from the preach word, everything is like building a ladder to take you into a next level of breakthrough and deliverance. So if we come to church thinking it's just a ritual, we have lost our focus. Hallelujah, the word comes to help you to survive, to push you into getting access to the things that you need. But things have changed, God says. I'm taking your side. Hallelujah. You are known as the bad news people. Hallelujah. 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 You're known as a bad news people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They talk negative about you. Hallelujah. The things they know about you, you fell in sin. Though you know the our forefathers, uh, they were rebellious, they fell in sin. But there was a remnant. Uh, hallelujah. Who choose to keep themselves uh, and obey the leaders uh, and the word from the Lord through the prophets. Uh, but now you will be the good news people. Don't be afraid. Keep a firm grip. Hold on to the word that God gave to you. Hold on to the promise. So keep a firm grip on what God is doing in the midst of us. Amen. God's blessing, as I explained, is, is defined in agricultural terms about the fruitfulness of the land. It appropriates this to the covenant promise of the land. He told the Israelites, I'm going to take you into a land flowing with milk and honey. And that's why he's saying to us, keep a firm grip because we can learn from our ancestors' past mistakes. That while you're going through your wilderness, it's not the time to complain, but hold on to the promise. To the words that he's spoken to you that you wrote in your journal. That you heard from the Lord directly. The preach word to you. Hold on to his promise. Amen. <laughs> God, I want to be the place where you live, Jesus. We need a touch, a touch from your grace. And here the chains must fall at the power of your word. And here the chains must fall at the power of your word. Right here in this moment, the chains must fall at the power of your word. And every knee must bow and tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. And this shall be called the house of worship. This shall be called the place of praise. This shall be called the place of Bethel, the place where God lives. This shall be called the house of worship. This shall be called the place of grace. This shall be called the place of Bethel, the place where God lives. Somebody sing it to him. This shall be called the house of worship. Yes, sir. 